Egypt uh, celebrated the 72nd anniversary of the police day, which embodies the values of sacrifice and loyalty, as well as the solidarity of the police and people to protect the nation's security and independence. Policemen were keen on celebrating the occasion with the citizens on the streets and squares, where they exchanged greetings and gifts. Citizens expressed their gratitude for the patriotic role for the Egyptian police throughout the ages, in laying the foundation of stability. Within the framework of the Ministry of Interior's keenness on implementing modern penal policy methods, with the expansion of pardon is one of the most important taxes, the community protection sector released 4,187 prisoners as per a Republican decree to pardon some convicts, who meet the conditions. This came marking the 72nd anniversary of the police day. The released prisoners were received by their relatives, who thanked President Abdel Fattah Hassisi for the pardon, which allowed them to start a new life. As uh, Egypt marked the 72nd anniversary of the police day, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi earlier attended the celebration marking the 72nd anniversary of the police day at the police academy. Addressing the event, President Hassisi said that the occasion marks a great day in the Egyptian history and praised the policeman's sacrifices in protecting Ismaili, a governorate, in 1952. The President reiterated that Egypt is facing dangerous challenges across its borders, pointing out that there are attempts to incite the public opinion against the state. The head of state asserted that he understands the sufferings that the Egyptians face due to the tough economic conditions and promised to exert more efforts to ease the burdens on all the Egyptians. Concerning the regional developments, President Assisi stressed Egypt's constant support to the Palestinian cause and vowed to continue providing Gaza with the humanitarian aid through the Rafah border crossing. Marking a Police Day celebrations, First Lady Intasada Sisi greeted all the people and said such an occasion reminds the Egyptians of the glories of its men. On her official social media page, the First Lady wrote that she salutes the mothers of the martyrs who sacrificed their most precious for the nation to live in security and stability. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli reviewed the report by the Public Financial Regulatory Authority on launching the first fund for the gold investment. Madbouli said that the investment funds in metals including gold comes in light of providing investment and saving opportunities that meet the needs of the society. He also pointed that this comes in the framework of the economic reform efforts in different sectors. He added that the gold investment fund will be a start to launch more investment funds and other financial tools. On the sidelines of the Asian Financial Forum in Hong Kong, Minister of Finance Dr. Muhammad Ma'it held a bilateral meeting with John Lee, the Chief Executive of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region. Ma'it stressed that Egypt is looking forward to strengthening the joint economic cooperation with Hong Kong. Sources revealed that both sides discussed ways to enhance the joint economic cooperation between the two sides in various fields.